Hey tea friends, I'm Megan Bristow, this is Tasting Teas, and in this video, it is a hot summer day in Scotland. We've had scorching weather for weeks, and I just need a tea that's going to cool me down. And I can't think of a better tea than a lovely Gaoshan, meaning high mountain tea, specifically a high elevation Taiwanese oolong. And this time, we're going for Shan Lin Shi. So make yourself a cup of tea and come and join me. Welcome to Tasting Teas. Welcome to my living room. This tea session with Shan Lin Shi comes from the merchant Riang Tea Yard. I have reviewed previous teas from this merchant and I will link to them in the video and in the description box if you want to check them out. They are based out of Nanto County in Taiwan and they are a provider of beautiful Taiwanese oolongs and black teas. Now, Shan Lin Chi, again, as always, apologies for pronunciation, I believe translates to Pine Forest Stream. This is a high elevation Taiwanese oolong. It is a lightly oxidized unroasted oolong so it's what we would call a green oolong it's closer towards the green tea end of the spectrum rather than the black tea end of the spectrum and this tea is really known for uh, its tahuar the environment in which it grows so again it's high elevation and there's a, a diversity of plant life pine bamboo flowers streams really really amazing diversity of flora and fauna so we should be able to taste all that beautiful plant life in the cup as well. In yin yang philosophy they say that cooling teas are unfermented teas, teas like green tea, white tea and lightly oxidized oolongs and these teas are known as yin teas, they have a very cooling effect on the body and so it's known to be good to drink these teas during spring and summer, especially when it's very warm. It is super, super hot outside in Scotland. Honestly, we've had so much sunny, amazing weather for a solid month. It's, it's very weird. I'm unsure of the specific season for this particular Riang Tea or tea. As for the cultivar of Shan Lin Shi, from what I have heard in the past and from previous Shanlin Shis that I have tasted in the past, the cultivar is typically Qingxin. However, I could be wrong. The origin of Shanlin Shi tea is Nanto County in Taiwan. Picking and processing, this is a ball rolled oolong. It is a green oolong, lightly oxidized, unroasted. And the elevation for this tea is 1100 to 1800 meters. I am brewing 8 grams of leaf gongfu in my porcelain gaiwan. I have a glass fairness cup or gong dao bei for decanting and a white and blue porcelain teacup. First, let's heat up the teaware. In goes the 8 grams into the warm gaiwan. Oh, very green in colour. The light green and jade green and emerald green. A lovely sweetness and fruitiness and floralness, just beautiful bouquet coming off the dry leaves in the, in the wet, uh, warm guy one. This is a ball rolled oolong, so it does take a while to kind of get the ball, um, the tea leaves to open up a bit. So we're going to go ahead and do a rinse to kind of prime those tea leaves. My water temperature is about 95 to 100 degrees Celsius. And I'll be brewing for 25 seconds on the first infusion and then adding 5 seconds to each sub subsequent infusion. That's just the rinse. Oh, that's mouth-watering. So there's like a deep, rich, vegetal, floral, almost like, oh wow, something really rich and buttery, like rich and creamy, like if you've sautéed vegetables in like pure butter. Twenty-five. Tea liquor is a very pale gold with a little bit of green in it. Ah, oh, and you can just... Do you know what's interesting is there is a kind of, maybe this is just my imagination getting the better of me, but there is a kind of pine, like a resinous pine note to it. 
And I believe pines are supposed to be growing, you know, in the tehwa, the environment that the tea leaves are growing in. And it's crazy because there's already such a complex aroma, a complex bouquet coming off the dry and wet leaves um, and the tea liquor. And so, you know, you know, I can, I feel like I can already taste a forest or I feel like I can already smell a forest in the Gongdao Bay. Rian Tiard, Shan Lin Shi. Cheers. Oh my goodness. Uh, possibly one of my favorite Taiwanese oolongs. It's so rich and velvety soft in the mouth for the mouthfeel. There's a beautiful floralness to it, but there's also like the minerality of rocks coming through. There's a beautiful vegetal note to it as well. Very rich and buttery. Um, it's only the first infusion. There's something very aromatic in the in the aftertaste. Long after you've swallowed and you kind of keep breathing in and breathing out, and kind of in the back of my throat, there's something uh, aromatic that reminds me of, of incense, but like smooth, smooth incense, not like spicy incense. Yes, there is something quite woody. So I'm getting like green leaves. I'm getting sautéed vegetables and butter. I'm getting even like the the woody part of the the tea stems and uh, definitely getting like part of a forest in my cup. I probably say it every time this happens during a tea session, but I just love it when I can taste the diversity of plant life in my cup. It makes me so happy to just have leaves and grass and wood and, and, and flowers and vegetables and everything, fruits coming coming out of my cup. There is a, a bite, like a crispness to it. So I really feel like, do you know when you bite into the, that perfectly, perfectly, I'm talking about fruits here guys, but a perfectly firm apple where it's kind of green and red on the outside and you bite into it and you hear that nice and it's so crisp and like sour and sweet and tangy and juicy like all at the same time. That is in Shan Lin Chi. I feel like I can even taste the, the rocks in this area and like a bit of soil and a bit of moss. And to be honest with you, I don't even know if that's just my imagination purely just running wild because I'm so drunk right now on the aroma and the flavor of this tea. Whew. Going in for infusion number five. Yeah, five. I had tea before the session, so I've had quite a bit of tea today, so I'm actually already kind of giddy and if not tea drunk, tea tipsy. I think this is five. I did four. Uh, I did four. Yeah. Taiwanese high mountain oolong. One of the great pleasures in life. Cheers. My mind, my mind and my soul are in Taiwan right now, sitting on a mountain slope, drinking Shan Lin Shi. Don't know what infusion I'm on, six, maybe seven, don't know, don't care. Just in heaven. That's where I'll be if you need me. Doing two tea sessions back to back was maybe unwise with some of the caffeine sensitivity. I'm gonna have to stop here on infusion six, seven, maybe eight, I don't know what infusion I was on. Don't have time to do a reading from the book of tea today. Uh, I am just super shaky. Uh, but feeling good, but definitely want to get some food in my stomach. If you made it to this point in the video, please like and subscribe. Your encouragement really helps me. Comment down below if you have any questions or comments or just want to talk shop about tea. I will link to my blog posts with details, particulars, and photos as always. 
And wherever you are, as always, dear tea friends, I hope you have a wonderful tea session and drink some lovely tea. See ya! Oh.